Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video, I would like to explain to you how loop recycle bin works. Uh, now, to actually understand uh, the mechanism behind uh, the recycle uh, bin and loop, it's very, very important to understand that uh, depending on uh, what you're deleting, you might or might not uh, uh, end up with results bin in the loop recycle bin. Let me explain. Uh, so here I have this uh, human resources workspace, and I guess I have a few, you know, pages uh, that I have for uh, human resources, I guess, related to onboarding. And, you know, I created this, um, you know, I guess, other page that I have, right? And I need to delete it. Um, so um, deleting the page is quite, uh, you know, easy. Um, you just literally, you know, click uh, the three dots uh, in here and click delete, or you can also click three dots uh, right uh, within the menu and click uh, delete. So as you, you probably noticed, the page has been deleted. Uh, now, once deleted, all the pages go to the recycle bin. You can access the recycle bin over here at the bottom. And uh, here it is. Here's the page we just uh, you know, deleted. So um, this actually works kind of similar to the SharePoint recycle uh, bin. Uh, you have 93 days to restore the content. So it would reside here for 93 days. Uh, and you can also click restore and it will go back to the original um, location uh, pretty much. Uh, very, very important. Each and every workspace has its own recycle, um, you know, bin. All right. So if I go, let's say, to um, another workspace that I have, and I click on recycle uh, bin here, you see it's uh, the contents is different because uh, essentially it just captures uh, the pages uh, that I deleted from that particular, you know, workspace. But let's go back to our HR workspace. Once again, I click uh, on the recycle uh, bin. And here is our, uh, you know, page that we just deleted. And that's actually very, very important. You only can recover pages from, um, it is the pages that end up in here, in here. You can only recover pages. If let's say you, um, you know, are working on, um, you know, a page itself, right, in, um, uh, let me just uh, add some stuff in here. And let's say you add, uh, I don't know, some sort of table, or task list, or whatever, you know, um, uh, element uh, you want. Uh, even if you, you know, convert it to um, and make it a component, right, a loop component, if I now uh, pretty much delete this entire thing, um, you know, from the page, and let's go to recycle bin, uh, no change. Why? Uh, because um, if you delete something from the page, then stuff like that would be restored through the version history, uh, which is also um, you know, a feature I covered uh, in uh, uh, you know, one of my earlier videos. So hopefully uh, that makes sense. It's just the complete, the entire pages that end up in the a recycle uh, bin that can be uh, restored. If you have a component that you added to the page and then, you know, maybe you add something, you delete something, you know, to that component and, you know, so on, uh, that kind of stuff would be, uh, you know, potentially recoverable through the version history. Now, uh, one other important aspect to note. So, so far I kind of showed you the, you know, the interface from the, you know, loop application, right? So we navigated to the workspace and then the page, and then, you know, you can delete, you can uh, restore the page as, uh, uh, you know, necessary. As a matter of fact, let's go uh, back and, you know, let's restore this, you know, page just so, so that I can show it to you. So here we go. Uh, the recycle bin is empty again, and here, here is our page again, all right, back in the workspace. Uh, but um, let's say uh, you did not start with, uh, you know, the workspaces and pages in here. Uh, let's say you, um, you know, created your, um, you know, a loop component from, you know, within the application. Let's say Microsoft Teams, right? You know how you can create 
um, uh, loop components on the fly. So for example, let me show you, I have this uh, project team in here and I want to post something in the channel. Uh, and uh, I just want to say, let's uh, manage uh, tasks and I want to add a loop component. So uh, I click the loop, um, you know, icon in here and, you know, let's uh, add uh, a few tasks. All right, just like that. And, you know, just like that, perfect. So I created um, essentially a loop component from within Teams uh, application. I did not create it within Microsoft Loop application itself. So we don't really have a page for it, if you will. All right. Um, so uh, yeah, let me post this, I guess, as, um, you know, as a message. So yeah, I just created this a loop component. Now, uh, where is this loop component? Um, you know, uh, let's say I, you know, I want to maybe delete, restore stuff. Well, it's obviously not associated with any of the pages. So let me go back to, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, Teams. If you click on the Files tab, look at this. Uh, once you create um, a loop um, you know, essentially component from Teams or um, Outlook or other applications, uh, they are not going to reside, you know, within Microsoft Loop, if you will, right, physically. Uh, instead, um, you know, in this particular case, because I created this Loop component in Teams in this particular channel, it actually resides in, um, you know, essentially, um, in uh, on a SharePoint site that's associated with this particular you know team within a folder called initiation all right because remember for every standard you know channel we get a folder on the site so if you delete this component in here all right and I'm going to do that so we can actually recover that component why because it's just like a file right uh, it's not a page like in loop it's, uh, you know, it's essentially, it's like a standalone file, like, you know, Word, Excel, PDF, and so on. So I just deleted this uh, loop file, loop component from within the files tab. So how do we recover it? In this particular case, because these documents are now stored in SharePoint, uh, we pretty much need to go to SharePoint site. All right, so it used to reside in here. This is the site associated with the team. And I used to have it here, but remember I deleted it. So I'm going to um, head over to the recycle bin and look at this. Here is the, you know, component that I just deleted. So the, and obviously you can restore it. This is no different than working with a regular, you know, SharePoint recycle bin. This is pretty much it. And, you know, you get the same benefits um, as you do with any, um, for any other, you know, uh, file type deletions. All right, so now I just restored it and it's back, should be back in our library, should be back in our, uh, you know, folder over here. So the reason I showed this to you is because you really have to know um, understand where, um, you know, how this uh, component was created. Again, if you created a page, if you created a page in, um, within Microsoft Loop, then you recover it from the, um, you know, the entire page from the Loop Recycle Bin. If you just created a component somewhere in uh, Teams or Outlook, uh, you would recover it, um, you know, from SharePoint and, uh, or OneDrive. And by the way, this is very important, uh, depending on where, which application you used, uh, to create your loop component, um, um, you know, it might reside on a SharePoint site, it might uh, reside on your OneDrive. So uh, depending on where, um, again, uh, how it was created and um, yeah, you might uh, need to head over either to your OneDrive recycle bin or a SharePoint recycle uh, bin to recover it. So very, very uh, important. Uh, but other than that, that's all uh, there is uh, to it. Uh, so um, just to summarize, um, you know, if you uh, deleted something in Loop, uh, you could either recover it through uh, Loop recycle bin, maybe potentially version history. All right, uh, if you, um, uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't work for this one. Let's see. Yeah, version history, right? If you made some changes on the page or the SharePoint recycle uh, bin, if you started your loop component uh, outside of Microsoft Loop application. All right.
So that's all I wanted to show in this video. Hopefully uh, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.